Welcome to KetoMealsAndRecipes.com. My family really loves burgers. One of my sons, who is not on keto, said he actually preferred my homemade burgers. We love how the melted cheese in the middle of this burger adds so much flavor. And it's he that suggested I make a video explaining the technique on how to make this tasty keto hamburger variation I call my ultimate keto Juicy Lucy hamburger. This cheese stuffed burger can be served with just a bun and a bit of mayonnaise as they do with the original recipe from the Minneapolis bar where this recipe originated. Or watch to the end of the video to see some of the delicious optional toppings we like to add to our ultimate keto Juicy Lucy burger. With the fully dressed version I will also provide the macros. The macronutrient ratio for the ultimate Juicy Lucy burger is 2.6 to 1 with 11.3 grams of total carbs, 2.7 grams of dietary soluble fiber and 5.1 grams of insoluble fiber resulting in 3.5 grams of net carbs per Juicy Lucy burger on a bun. As I said this is more of a technique video than a recipe video. Since I use my ultimate keto burger recipe to make these burger patties a link to this recipe will be provided in the description below. Also, you should first make my keto buns and rolls recipe. However, you will only need six buns. The link for this recipe will also be provided in the description below. The Milwaukee Original Juicy Lucy uses American cheese, but I couldn't find that in my local grocery store. And I found that this burger actually adapts well to any kind of cheese that you like. So I usually choose one of my other favorite cheeses. Choose one that melts well because it's the melted cheese inside the burger that will give it that wonderful taste and mouthfeel. So what I do is I cut the cheese into six slices, each weighing 20 grams, as I'm showing here. Next I weigh out exactly 170 grams or six ounces of my prepared ultimate burger meat. I divide each of these 170 gram bundles into two equal parts of 85 grams or three ounce sections. Next, lightly roll the two halves of meat into small balls. Place each 85 gram or 3 ounce of the flattened ball on a surface, which I lined with a bit of cling wrap. Then starting at the center, gently press to shape a hollow, which forms a ridge on the outer perimeter. As you're pressing, make sure that the center part isn't too thin, because that would probably cause the cheese to leak out while you're grilling. When you have prepared both of your patties, Place 20 grams or 0.7 of an ounce of cheese in the center of one of the patties. To form the patty, it's easiest if you slide your hand under the cling wrap. And use the cling wrap to help you place the second of the two patties over the first one with the cheese. When you're putting them together, try to match the edges exactly. Pinch and shape the perimeter of the two patties. You must seal the perimeter tightly so that the cheese will not leak. Then after you have combined the two pieces and reshape as needed to form a flat hockey puck. Set aside and repeat until you have made all six of the Juicy Lucy hamburgers. To start grilling, heat a skillet or frying pan on medium heat. And when your pan is hot, brush it with about one tablespoon of grapeseed, bacon fat or coconut oil. Place the patties in the pan, but be careful not to overcrowd. Leave plenty of room between each patty. By the way, I don't use medium high heat or high heat. If you do, the outside will grill much too quickly and the inside wouldn't have time to cook properly on this higher heat. The meat would be too rare and the cheese would not have enough time to melt properly. Also, note that you will grill each side until it's done completely and flip only once. The frying time for your burger will depend on your meat density and the thickness of your patty. But as a guide, for the 175 grams or 6 ounce amount of hamburger meat that I used for the Ultimate Keto Juicy Lucy hamburger, these are the approximate grilling times when I use the medium heat setting. If you like the burger medium rare, cook 4 minutes per side. For medium done hamburger, cook 5 minutes per side. I would recommend the 5 minute per side for best results, which ensures that your cheese will be well melted. As always, how long you cook on each side is up to you and how well done you prefer your hamburger. A couple of points I would like to emphasize so that you achieve the perfect level of juiciness. First, cook the burger on the first side for the full four or five minutes. Flip only once and cook the other side for four or five minutes. This will create that wonderful crispy mellard exterior to your hamburger. And because of the mellard reaction, this method will keep the juices sealed inside. 
which is much better than having the juices leak into your pan. Also, never ever press down on the burger with your spatula. That will compress the meat and make the burger less juicy. When both sides of the burger have been grilled to your perfect doneness, remove the burger from the skillet and let the burger rest for five minutes to lock in the juices. If you're making just one or two, these prepared Ultimate Keto Juicy Lucy hamburgers can be stored in a sealed container and frozen. But when you're storing them, separate the burgers with parchment paper and don't forget to label and date your storage container. Lastly, I like to also place my keto buns on the skillet and heat them up before serving. If you like, you can also butter each side of the bun. This will help to improve the fat ratios, but it's really not necessary. The classic Juicy Lucy is served on a bun with only mayonnaise. You'll find that this burger is so amazing and full of flavor. The cheese inside the burger really adds a different dimension to the taste. Now as promised, here are the optional ingredients to make the fully dressed version of the Ultimate Keto Juicy Lucy Hamburger on my Keto Bun. The way that I like my hamburger dressed as I'm showing here, first I spread one teaspoon of mayonnaise on one of the two halves of my bun. Depending on the size of the leaves, I use one or two leaves of Boston lettuce. Then I place one relatively thin slice of tomato. I also spread half a teaspoon of full grain Dijon mustard right on top of the burger. Finally, I add about half a small avocado that I cut into wedges and top with the other half of the bun. And here you have the ultimate Keto Juicy Lucy, absolute perfection. The macronutrient ratio for my ultimate Juicy Lucy burger with bun and topping is 2.8 to 1 with 14.4 grams of total carbs, 4.5 grams of soluble fiber, 5.1 grams of insoluble fiber, resulting in 4.8 grams of net carbs for the entire burger, fully dressed as I'm showing here. Although I did not show it here, I often do make my keto jicama fries. I'll provide the link below. A few other great toppings that I'd like to recommend are mushrooms sautéed in butter or grilled onion and a slice or two of bacon. Be creative and top this burger any way you like or just have it plain, as in these two versions. As you can see, this is why my son said he prefers our homemade Ultimate Keto Juicy Lucy burgers to the ones he buys at his favorite fast food chain. I hope you enjoy these burgers. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Please subscribe, turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified when I release my next video. My next video will be my new keto hamburger buns, which have a lighter taste, more closely in taste to regular hamburger buns. The link for the printable Ultimate Keto Juicy Lucy Hamburger and the other recipes mentioned will be provided in the description below.